The truth about designer babies and ancient spirituality. Imagine a world where we can design the perfect baby, free from genetic diseases and tailored to our preferences. This cutting edge science can change the course of human evolution forever. Genetic modification in humans is no longer science fiction. CRISPR technology enables us to edit DNA with unprecedented accuracy, but with great power comes great responsibility. Are we playing God by altering human DNA? This question stirs deep moral and spiritual concerns. Many people are wrestling with the implications of such profound control over life itself. In ancient cultures, the idea of tampering with the essence of life would be unthinkable. Shamans, priests, and healers viewed life as sacred, a gift from the divine. Today's advancements challenge age-old beliefs. We now have the ability to eliminate genetic disorders and enhance human abilities. But where do we draw the line? Would ancient spiritual leaders approve of genetically modifying babies? They might argue that each soul comes into this world with a purpose, molded by its natural genetic makeup. Modern spirituality often blends science and faith, yet it still grapples with these questions. Can we reconcile genetic engineering with the belief in a higher power or universal order? Some argue that creating designer babies could lead to societal inequality, where only the rich can afford genetic enhancements. This could widen the gap between different classes and communities. Others believe that we have a moral obligation to eradicate suffering, including genetic diseases. If we have the tools to alleviate pain and improve lives, should we not use them? Spiritual teachings often emphasize humility and accepting life's imperfections. Genetic modification, however, seeks to perfect human existence, challenging these age-old values. In some spiritual traditions, karma dictates the natural order of life events and genetic dispositions. Altering DNA might be seen as interfering with the karmic cycle. The debate is not only about science and spirituality, but also about ethics. Who decides which traits are desirable? Could this lead to a new form of eugenics? Ancient cultures might have viewed nature's imperfections as part of a larger divine plan. Modern science, however, seeks to correct these perceived flaws. As we stand on the brink of a new era, the questions we face are complex and multifaceted. The answers may lie in a delicate balance between innovation and spiritual wisdom. The future of genetic modification will undoubtedly shape our world in ways we can't yet imagine but it also challenges us to consider the deeper moral and spiritual implications of our actions.